Hello everyone, let's look at lead code question 997, find the town judge. At the time of recording, this question has 6,000 upvotes and 481 downvotes. The question is, in a town there are n people labeled from 1 to n. There is a rumor that one of these people is secretly the town judge. Okay, so the input is n and trusts. n is the number of people in the town, and trusts is the relationship between trusting one person to the next. In this format, trust I, A, B represents uh, A trusts person labeled B. The town judge exists if the town judge trusts nobody. So if the town judge is uh, B, then B can never be in the position that A is in. And everybody except the town judge trusts the town town judge, there is exactly one person that satisfies properties 1 and 2. So for every person that has a trust relationship, he or she can only trust that one uh, person. Okay, And return the label of the town judge if the town judge exists, otherwise return negative 1. Okay, So here the examples will go into depth. The constraints are that the number of people in the town is between 1 and 1000, and the trust.length uh, array is between 1 and 10,000 and the trust uh, I dot length is 2 so the relationship is one person trusts another person and all the pairs of trust are unique uh, and let's see so 1 is less than or equal to A B is less than or equal to N okay and A cannot equal B so 3 if person 3 trusts person 4 it can't be th person 3 trusts person 3 Okay, looking at the code, we first define the count uh, array, which will define the number of people that trust the person at index i. So since it's n people, we'll do n plus 1 to uh, make it so every person has an index value. And then we loop through uh, every trust relationship, and for every person in location a, which would be 1, 2, 4 in this example, we subtract one from count at location A because if they trust someone that means that there are they are less likely to be the town judge because the town judge trusts nobody so then uh, we increment B by one because that will be uh, telling us uh, that uh, the number of people that trust the person at count B will increase and we're trying to find out if everyone in the town besides a town judge trusts that person at count B and then once we have uh, added up and incremented the number of trust relationships between uh, count uh, index I we can loop then through the every single person and check if uh, the person at index I is equal to n minus 1 this just checks if they are the town judge because if they're the town judge everyone trusts them and it's minus one because the judge doesn't trust himself. And if we can't find a value that is n minus one, so the number of people in the town minus one, we can exit and return negative one, so the town judge is not in the town. Okay then, let's loop through this first example. Count is equal to zero times n plus one. So there's four people in the town, so this will be what the count array initially looks like. It's five zeros, because we include the index zero, then person one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then we create a for loop for and we iterate through all of the trust relationships. So for count a minus equal one. Person one minus equal one. So currently this becomes negative 1 and count B is 3 so 0 1 2 3 this becomes 1 so it's less likely that person 1 will be town judge and person 3 is one person more likely and then we iterate next to 2 3 so 2 is minus 1 now and 3 is plus 1 again so 3 person 3 is 2 2 people trust person 3 and we iterate finally to 4 3 and we say okay person at index 4 minus 1 and person at index 3 is 3 so 3 people trust person 3 now we can iterate through this for loop of every single person in the town starting with the first one and we check if count i so count 1 is equal to n minus 1 so count i is actually right here 
and that's negative 1. Is negative 1 equal to n minus 1? n minus 1 is 4, minus 1 is 3. So no, negative 1 is not equal to 3. So we iterate to the next uh, person, and that is person 2 right here. Is count 2, index 2, negative 1, equal to n minus 3? So is negative 1 equal to 3? No. So we iterate then to the next person. Is person at index 3 equal to n minus 1? Is 3 equal to 4 minus 1? Yes, 3 is equal to 3 because everyone in the town trusts the town judge besides the judge himself. So we can return uh, that the index value of the judge is 3. He's located at uh, index 3. He is the person number 3. Let's look at this next example now. n is equal to 3, so there's 3 people and there's 2 trust relationships. So we have definition of count person 0, 1, 2, and 3. We loop A, B, trust, so all the relationships here in trust. Count A minus equal 1, so that's 1, count of 1, becomes negative 1. Count B, which is 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, plus equals 1. Iterate to the next relationship, person 2 trusts person 3, so person 2, we subtract 1, and person 3, we add 1, so it becomes 2. Okay, so for i in range now, 1, 2, n plus 1, so we iterate through every person in the uh, town, we check if count i, count i is currently at 1, is negative 1 equal to 2, because 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Everyone uh, trusts the town judge besides the town judge himself, so that's two people. No, that's false, so we iterate to the next one. Is index 2 equal to n minus 1? No. Negative 1 is not equal to 2. And finally, index 3, person number 3, is that equal to n minus 1? Is 2 equal to 2? Yes. So we return 2, because it's person number 2 who is a town judge. Looking at this final example, we have trust 132331, and we have our count array, person 0, 1, 2, and 3, and we iterate for A in trust. Okay, so count A minus equals 1, that's 1 and 3. So 1 becomes negative 1, 3 becomes 1, plus equals 1, that's B, count B. And for A, B in this next iteration, person 2 is negative 1, and person 3 becomes 2. And for the last iteration, person 3 trusts person 1, so 3 has become 1 now, and person 1 becomes 0. So everyone in this town trusts somebody, so that's already a bad indication that the town judge doesn't exist here. But let's go through this final iteration for i in range n plus 1. If count i, starting at 1, is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. So is 0 equal to 2? No. Is negative 1 equal to 2? No. Is 1 equal to 2? No. So we exit and return negative 1. The town judge does not exist. Okay, let's check the solution. Great, and it works. The time complexity of this solution is O of n, where n is the number of people. This is because we iterate through the trust list once to update the trust count for each person. And then we iterate through the people list once to find the judge. The space complexity is O of n also, because we create a people list of size n plus 1 to store the trust count of each person. That's it for this question. Thank you for watching.